there's a reshuffle in the Tamil Nadu cabinet and the new ministers will swear in, in just a short while from now. There you can see the Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin there uh, and the governor R.N. Ravi is also there as uh, the swearing in ceremony will happen in just a short while uh, from now of the new cabinet of the Tamil Nadu government. This comes after there was a controversy of the Tamil, over the Tamil Nadu finance minister PTR over the audio clips that were leaked by the BJP alleging that PTR PTR had made several controversial remarks against Chief Minister M.K. Stalin, but PTR had said that these are doctored audio clips and it wasn't his voice. Now, reportedly, uh, PTR's uh, portfolio might be changed from uh, finance to information technology. We'll wait to see whether that happens, but there are some additions and deletions in the cabinet as well. The Tamil Nadu Dairy Development Minister S.M. Nasser has been dropped from the M.K. Stalin-led cabinet and TRB Raja has become uh, has been included in the Council of Ministers. So that's one addition and one deletion. Um, the Dairy Development Minister has been dropped, while the MLA TRB Raja has been included in the Council of Ministers. We'll wait to see what the portfolio distribution amid uh, the Council of Ministers is. Um, the, the Governor R. N. Ravi has accepted the Chief, Chief Minister's recommendations, and as you can see, he's there at the swearing-in ceremony along with Chief Minister M. K. Stalin and the swearing in ceremony will happen in just a short while from now as the chief minister and the governor have just reached there um, you know, just a short while ago and now the new uh, ministers uh, will uh, take oath and in, uh, it's important to point out here that there are not many new ministers one minister has been inducted in the cabinet and that's trb raja uh, and other than that, there will be a reshuffle of the portfolios among the existing ministers. My colleague Sam Daniel joining us for more details on this. And Sam, uh, interestingly, of course, it comes after that controversy over the finance minister PTR and uh, uh, the allegedly uh, that uh, audio, those audio tapes that were leaked. But let's talk about what we can expect from the cabinet reshuffle. One addition, one deletion, and the rest of the portfolios are likely to be redistributed or reshuffled among existing ministers, is it? Well, that information will be official, I think, maybe half an hour after the swearing-in of uh, this new minister, Mr. TRB Raja Priyanshi. But yes, there is intense speculation and buzz in Chennai that uh, there could be a reshuffle of uh, portfolios among ministers of uh, MK Stalin's cabinet as well. To begin with, we should know what portfolio would Mr. TRB Raja be given. He's a three-time MLA who represents the Manarguri Assembly constituency. He is also is the son of DMK veteran leader and MP TR Balu. And uh, over the last several years, uh, his innovative helpline at his constituency had struck a chord with his masses, and his induction also triggers uh, criticism about family politics in the DMK. He is the sixth child of a DMK leader to be a minister in MK Stalin's cabinet. But uh, the DMK says uh, people are being rewarded for their hard work and in the case of uh, Raja, they say he has been getting elected three times consecutively. He's doing a good work and it's only proper that he's elevated and uh, given more responsibility. There is speculation that he could get the industry's portfolio, but all eyes would be on whether there would be any change to the portfolio of Finance Minister PTR Palnivel Thyagarajan, particularly as this reshuffle, possible reshuffle, comes weeks after. Two unverified audio clips suggested that he uh, made corruption allegations against uh, the Chief Minister's family. At least twice, Pitya himself has denied these allegations. One such audio clip was shared by the state BGP chief Anamalai. And uh, PTR has called this fabricated with a malicious intent, with an attempt to drive a wedge between him and the DMK. He, ha he has said that will not succeed. And uh, that was also endorsed by Chief Minister M.K. Stalin, saying that the minister has twice clarified he would not want to comment and give publicity for what he called rumours. But uh, there is speculation that there could be a change of portfolio, which in that case could be seen as a political victory for the BGP, although the BGP in Tamil Nadu has a very negligible presence. There is also buzz. A few other ministers may also see their portfolios changed. The DMQ calls this as the prerogative of the chief minister. 
who in their view is keen to improve the focus on certain ministries and also based on the performance of other ministers he may bring about this cabinet reshuffle all that would be clear in a less than an hour after the swearing in as we speak now the governor arun ravi has sworn in trb raja as the minister this is the first time chief minister mk stalin has dropped a minister that's also important the dairy minister nasser has been dropped and it's in his place trb raja has been inducted and a few months ago there was an unverified video showing mr nasser pelting stones at somebody at a public meeting venue in which the next day the chief minister was expected to attend right. and that at that point in time had uh, brought so much of bad name for the party and that's being cited as the reason for his uh, ouster now priyansh right as sam was pointing out the governor there administering the oath for the new minister trb raja and uh, sam another question is uh, that uh, is this reshuffle is this cabinet reshuffle routine is this something that was being expected or uh, has that ptr controversy triggered this cabinet reshuffle by mk stalin every chief minister has a different style this is hmm. the first time chief minister mk stalin has uh, decided to remove a minister and based on the performance based on the need of the art for instance now uh, lok sabha elections are coming up in a in, in a years in a years time and uh, maybe that he's trying to give focus on certain areas in terms of expediting welfare measures fulfilling the poll promises of the dmk and based on the performance of these ministers he has taken a call uh, earlier when the aia dmk was in power late chief minister jay lalita was known to be frequently changing portfolios frequently removing ministers frequently inducting ministers and on a lighter note they used to call ministers as occupying musical chairs it was that frequent but in this case it was it's after 2 years of capturing power in tamil nadu mk stalin has uh, made this uh, uh, change in his cabinet but all eyes would be on whether he is bringing about any change in the portfolios held by finance minister ptr palnivel thagarajan particularly in the context of the unverified um, uh, audio clips which the opposition bjp claims has his audio which he himself has denied right and uh, sam uh, what we're looking at is the new minister trb raja sharing the stage with chief minister mk stalin and uh, governor r n ravi as well so if you could take us through what's really happening right now um, has he been sworn in as a, a minister in the cabinet now that's right he is now a minister he has been inducted any moment we can expect the official announcement from the tamil nadu government or from the raj bhavan what will be his portfolio and whether there would be any other reshuffle in terms of portfolios for other ministers of mk stalin's cabinet uh, he is now a minister according to the protocol there would be a tea a gathering or a tea reception at the raj bhavan with the governor there will also be a group picture with all the ministers including the new inductee after which uh, mr raja is expected to uh, assume office uh, at the secretariat uh, in another part of chennai he could probably make a stop at the uh, at the memorial of uh, late dmk chief and former chief minister m karunanidhi and he may meet the, we are trying to meet him as well but that's the normal uh, protocol after swearing in they go to the office and take oath and uh, probably they may address uh, the the media after that but in a half an hour in maybe less than half an hour time we should have details of his portfolio and details of any other possible portfolio changes for the ministers priyansh right and sam is this the first time that uh, mk stalin um, uh, is uh, uh, reshuffling his cabinet or has this happened before in the current government the reshuffle priyansh has taken a couple of times in the past uh, in terms of uh, uh changing portfolios among ministers uh, but this is the first time this is the second time he's inducting a new minister a few months ago he inducted his son m uh, udayanidhi stalin as the sports minister and already his cabinet has reached its capacity in terms of touching the 15% mark of the 234 number in the number of mlas in the assembly so this addition of uh trb raja as a minister or member of the cabinet was hmm. possible only after uh, showing the door for another existing minister that's in this case nazir that dairy development minister hmm. so this is the second expansion of his cabinet and first time 
he's showing the door or he has shown the door for a cabinet member.